What's up, you guys, and welcome to the next episode of Persona 4 Golden RT Online. Um, this episode, I kind of wanted to do things a little different. <clears throat> so I'm going to take out the entirety of the grinding that I want to do in this episode. Um, just so I can get that off and, like, um, just get the experience out of the way so we can continue on with the story. Because I feel like I would take up the whole episode if I just started grinding in the middle of it. Um, so it's a day off from school. Which means it's a good day to do the grinding, unless somebody wants to do a social link. Depends on who that is. Well, I was thinking the same thing, Chie. Aww. Alright, so we're going to go to Juness, and uh, we're going to go into the TV today. Um... <laughs> It was like it was meant to be. So if you go back to Yukiko's Castle to Grind, there is a boss at the final floor. It's not the same boss. It's like more of a mini boss. But it still, it gets you a special item for that specific character. So it is worth going back. Um, so yeah, we're going to go to Juness, get into the TV, and then I'll see you guys when I'm done grinding. Let's see, Juness Department Store. <clears throat> huh. Gather everyone at the food court. All right. Huh? Are we going already? Yes, sir. And I will be back after we're done grinding. All right, I'm back from grinding. Um, I ended up beating all the floors except for the final one because that boss ended up wiping me twice. So I was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna use a go home, a go home M rather. Um, so let's check our status. So right now, 14, 14, 14, and 17 for my characters respectively. When Yukiko joined me, she was 15 already, which is strange, but, I mean, we'll take it. I'm going to use her on my party for a good while on this uh, on this run-through of the game. Alright, so we're going to quit exploring the TV and end the day. And hit that. Bye-bye! That ended up taking longer than I expected, but um, we'll take it. I got to the levels that I wanted. So we're going to go upstairs and sleep. Hello, Yukiko. It's raining. It's not going to last past nightfall, though. Every time it rained while I was over there, you must have been... Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be gloomy. I know. Golden Week starts tomorrow, right? Do you have any plans? I'll have a family outing. Oh, I see. That must be tough. Well, at least it looks like we're going to have clear skies all week. It'd be nice if it could stay peaceful like this, but the mystery hasn't been solved yet. Perhaps we should visit over there once in a while so we could become stronger. That is an idea. Afternoon. I'm hearing a lot of chatter about Golden Week. But don't forget that first and foremost, you're students. Your duty is to study. You don't have time to fool around, all right? Do not misunderstand what freedom means. It does not mean that you can live without taking responsibility. Even Pythagoras said, as soon as laws are necessary for men, they are no longer fit for freedom. Next order of business, midterms are coming up next week. The results will be posted to humiliate low-scoring losers. If you don't want to be shamed, study hard. It's that simple. If you do well, who knows? You may become more popular, Cretan. And, you know, popularity leads to intimacy. On top of that, my reputation goes up. It's a win-win situation, people. Like I said, study hard. You listen to the lecture intently. Your knowledge is maxed out. Classes have ended for today. Somebody appear on the Midnight Channel again. Chie's down here, Yosuke's in here, which means maybe Yukiko is downstairs, because that's where she's usually at. Uh, that guy's a quest. Yukiko's usually on the first floor. Where are you, Yukiko? There you are. Oh. School seems really fun, and I was looking around. It's all thanks to you. Thanks for saving me. Yukiko has a fresh smile on her face. She seems somewhat uncomfortable. Okay, well, we can't do that social link yet, so, uh... Let's 
go into town. And then we'll go Dojima Residence. And then, 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 we go home. Ah oh, shit, here we go. Hello, Dad? Yeah, I'm okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. He said to give you the phone. He can't take those days off. Damn it, I already told my friends I had plans. That's how it goes. Sorry to spring this on you all of a sudden. Um, Earth Nanako will be up. Would you mind comforting her for me? Thanks, Marinda. See you. It is my duty to make sure Nanako Chuan is okay. Oh, it won't even let me go in there. How do I check on Nanako? I want to do that. Come on, bruh. Let me check on my Nanako. Well, can't do that. I guess I'll work. You had a hard time translating expressions in a foreign language. Your expression has increased. You can't read this handwritten sentence. Um, speculate from the context. You continued reading even though you didn't understand what was just said. You suddenly grasped the meaning through the context. You're in the groove now. 15,000 yen is mine. Today is Constitution Day, so you have the day off from school. You wonder when it'll rain again at night. Nanako is watching TV today as usual. Sounds like someone's here. Chie came to see you. Oh, cool, you're home. Hey, if you're free today, you want to go somewhere? Yukiko's coming too. How about you, Nanako chan? Want to come? Um. Yeah, come with us. You decided to take Nanako out along with Chie and the others. Juness Food Court. You met up with Yosuke, who's still on the clock, and Yukiko, who finished her work back at the inn. Dude, I love that jacket Yosuke has. To a place like this on Golden Leaf. Where else is there to go? I love Juness. Nanako chan. <laughs> going to make box lunches. Wow, you can make box lunches, Nanako-chan? Oh, so you're the family cook? Pretty impressive, big bro. Uh-oh. Big So it begins. Whoa, you can cook? Well, you do seem to be great with your hands. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm a pretty good cook too, you know. Probably. 
Nope. If you do that, I would have whipped up some box lunches. You see his pie. Yeah. Uh, let me think about it. No. What makes you think I can't cook? Let's have a cook-off and see for ourselves. My, my. Does the lady protest too much? And hey, I never said I cooked. Wait, are we already I doing the cook-off? Like I'd win anyway. <laughs> no, that's much I later in the game. What the Yukiko? Here, Nanako chan could be our judge. I bet we'll make something that ranks up there with your mom's cooking, Nanako chan. I don't have a mom. She died in an accident. <laughs> hey, you're scared. I see. Um sorry. I didn't know. It's okay. Even if I don't have a mom, I have dad with me. And now I have a brother too. Yo! We're having a lot of fun today. I love Juness. Y yeah? That's good. <laughs> we'll play with you anytime you want, Nanako chan. Yeah, we should hang out more often. <laughs> Come on, Nanako chan. Let's go get a soda. Okay. Get something for Nanako chan too. Uh, guys, fellas, you want something too? Yes, sir. Nanako gives you a carefree smile. You feel a faint bond before me between you and Nanako. The big brother social link. Thou art I, and I am thou. Thou hast established a new bond that brings you closer to your little sister, Nanako Chuan. And Justice Arcana, too, whatever. You have established the Nanako Dojima social link of the Justice Arcana. Wanna share some takoyaki? Yo! Never had that before, actually. Is it good? You had fun time with Nanako and your friends. They're like octopus balls, right? I know that from One Piece. <laughs> Alright. Um, I don't think I have anything to do here. Let's go up. And then we'll uh, do some more translations. 5,000 yen. Today's nature day, so you have the day off from school. I wonder when we're winning. What should we do today? Dude, I want to live here. You got Constitution Day, Nature Day. You know, I got that shit. But I'm not even in high school anymore, so it don't really matter. Hey, it's me. Yeah, let's hang out with Yosuke. Well, Daisuke's here and Ko. Nanako chan sure loves this place. <laughs> First thing out of her mouth when I asked where she wanted to go was Juness! Who could blame her? This place is everything. It's like storehouse of magic. I could see why she likes it. Anyways, isn't she cute? <laughs> I have a younger sister too. I wish she was cute like Nanako. I'm not cute. Get the fuck away from me. <laughs> Oh, did I hurt your feelings? Huh. Don't worry. You're not cute. <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> That's going kind of far. Hey, hey, hey. You stupid or something? <laughs> That's the dice game I know. Hey, don't flatter me like that. <laughs> I don't think he is. Big bro. That TV is huge. I feel like if I watch the sports on TV like this, I'd get sucked into the screen. <laughs> Come on, like that could happen. Promises to be an entertaining day. You feel your relationship with Yosuke is going to become closer soon. And with Nanako, and with Dice Genko. You spend an afternoon with the crew. We're getting close to our fated day, where we could start beginning our plans. 
We went to GNS today, huh? Yeah, we sure did, Nautico. We're going to start working towards our ending route pretty soon. Going to go sleep. Decided to go somewhere to usually go first. Um... Let's go to the shrine, get the fox one activated. The fox is pretty important. There's no one on the premises. Dusty shrine doesn't seem well maintained. We decided to go home. When suddenly... A mysterious fox suddenly appears before you. Does it live at the shrine? The fox is staring at you. You notice an Emma pla plaque on its mouth. A mysterious fox nudges the Emma under your hand. It reads, Please help Grandpa's legs get better, Keita. The Emma has someone's wish written on it. Why did the fox give this to you? Upon closer inspection, you notice an unusually shaped leaf stuck under the back of the Emma. You don't recognize this leaf from the local plant line. Is this also the work of the mysterious fox? Oh, not every day you see youngins like you around here. Nobody lives here anymore. I come by to tidy things up once in a while, but lately my legs are so achy I just can't do it. I've been trying to get this place up to snuff, but there just isn't enough money to go around. Well, I suppose I'll pay my respects. If my legs don't heal, I can't maintain the shrine. That, and I won't be able to visit Keita anymore. It's my grandson, you know. You wonder if it could be the same Keita who wrote the e Emma. The Emma said, please help Grandpa's legs get better. Hmm? What could that be you got in your hand there? Could it be? That leaf! That's it! Way back when, my grandmother always used to say a leaf shaped like that was the best kind of ache remedy out there. Ah, oh, what memories. But how'd you get your hands on this? I don't think you can find any of those in the mountains anymore. Please, young man, can I trouble you to spare me that leaf? He gave the old man the leaf that was stuck on the back of the Emma. Oh, this is it. This is it. Now, let's see here. The old man stuck the leaf onto his leg. Oh, I can feel it! It's working! Amazing! The pain I've just been feeling for who knows how long, it just up and vanished! Huh? Why, I feel better than I have in years! You really helped me out, young man. I am so grateful. Now I can go visit my grandson. I'd better pay thanks to the shrine for bringing us together like this. You marvel at the amazing results. Not only did it heal his aches, it even restored his vitality. But the fox... Looks on from his hiding place with contented expression. Seems the understanding of the wish on the Emma has been granted. The fox is peering into the offertory box as if to check the contents. It even seems to understand the shrine has received an offering. Perhaps you were given the Emma with the leaf to for that express purpose. Yep. Seems it's taken a liking to you. It has a mouthful of the same leaves as the one you gave the old man. It seems the fox has a large stock of mysterious leaves with healing powers. Yep. The fox is looking up mirthfully. Is there something it wants from you? You cannot help but think how strange this encounter is as you realize a fox is showing you a pile of leaves. You feel a faint bond forming between you and the fox. And there we go. That was blessed when creating personas of the Hermit Arcana. I'll explain how this guy's helpful later. Or at least next time we're in the TV. Where does it find such amazing leaves? Reflect on how useful it would be to have this kind of help when searching on the other side. Yep. Does it understand your thoughts? The fox gestures towards the offertory box. Is it offering its services for a price? Yep. Seems the mysterious fox has agreed to aid you in your search. However, it appears that it will require a fee for its cooperation. You returned to the Emma Shrine and went home. It's getting late. You decided to go home. Damn, that social link took up the whole ass day. Golden Week's almost over.
26-year-old former employee of the company, which reported the stolen vehicle. According to the police investigation, Komenes Sushin was... I'm home. How many days is he going to call in sick? These rookies lately sure are... Welcome back! Nanako, I'm sorry I broke my promise again. Thanks. Oh, that's a Juness bag. <gasps> what did it? <laughs> Good eye. Well, today is Children's Day. That sounds what made up. You a present? Yay! <gasps> Ooh, a She only wears the same outfit every day. child or anything, but there's fair. It's a swimsuit with an odd design on it. Thank you. Don't mention it. I thought you might need one soon. Well then, let's eat. Okay. You spent a pleasant evening with the Dojimas. Okay, now that he's here, we can't go out. So we go up. Since my knowledge is already maxed out, let's get some more yen. Just fix this thing. It's making squeaking sounds again. Hmm. Maybe you need a new one. Huh? Yeah. Hey, by the way, I'm sorry about the other day. You know, about what I said to Nanako-chan. After hanging out with Nanako-chan, I feel even stronger that we have to solve this case. I'm counting on you. <laughs> Same to you. You know, Chia and Yukiko seem different lately. They're a lot closer. Oh, yeah, I was just curious, but are you... Uh, never mind. You know, if we keep chatting, we're going to be late. Oh, man, school's such a chore. And now my bike's messed up, too. The roads are much wider here than in the city, so I keep speeding. I guess that did it. <sighs> oh, well, until I get my motorcycle license, I'll just have to walk. Shouldn't be that bad. Ooh, 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 whose social link are we gonna get today? What's up? Word up, me? You wanna hang out later? <laughs> yeah, spend time with Yosuke. <laughs> I do need to get some stuff for Yukiko, though. I don't think I have new gear for her yet. At least they were peaceful. I listened in on the housewives gossiping at Juness, but it doesn't seem like anything happened. And I haven't heard anything about someone disappearing suddenly either. You think Yukiko could have been the last of the victims? Mm, I doubt this is over. Hmm. I don't know. But we shouldn't relax as long as the culprit remains at large. I wonder. Will someone show up on TV again if it rains? If we only knew a little more about who the killer might be. It's no good fretting over it now. If someone does show up on the Midnight Channel, then we'll deal with it. It's supposed to start raining soon, but I hope this weather holds through next week. You know, midterms. Midterms. Why are they going to bring that up? I don't want to think about it. <sighs> I wish I had Yukiko's gift for studying. Hey, Yosuke, why don't you have Yukiko go over some of the material with you? Hmm? Oh, that's right. Yukiko's ranked at the top on every exam. Maybe I should ask her for some private lessons. <gasps> private lessons? Huh? What's wrong? Ouch. Ow! What was that for? I'm just asking you to help me study. Oh, I'm sorry. 
You were talking about studying. <laughs> Thought it might have been an off-color joke. Irene has had some strange visitors lately. If you thought it was a joke, then just shrug it off. Sorry, my hand moved without thinking. Jeez, thanks a lot, Chie, for bringing up the whole studying thing. <laughs> what did I do? Uh, you're the one who made it sound creepy and wrong. Private lesson, huh? What? <laughs> then it's mostly my fault? Class is invented for today. You have no choice but to wait for another rainy night. You recall that you have already made plans with somebody. You should be going soon. Your room. Yosuke pretty much barged in. Hmm, it's pretty clean. So, you keep the goods under your futon? What? Huh? <laughs> Come on, no need to play dumb. Don't worry, I'll still be your friend even if you're into the freaky stuff. Yosuke looks like he's having fun. You ever invited a girl in here? I will soon. For real? Seriously, that means you're working on someone? Yosuke's keyed up. <laughs> hey, big bro. Are you up there? Have you seen the public notice anywhere? Nanako-chan's here. Let's let her in. Nanako-chan, are you free today? No, I'm going to Takeyoshi's house with Miwa and Yo. A guy's house? Um, Takeyoshi sits next to me. I'm going to deliver to public notice to him. Miwa said she's going with me because she likes Takeyoshi. Because she likes him? Man, kids sure are mature these days. Well, my first love was in first grade, too. I've always been ahead of my time. But, well, I don't really need that in my life right now. It's just not the time. I have something I need to do before that can happen. Homework? Well, no. Well, maybe it is. You're smart, Nanako-chan. Nanako left for her friend's house. Nanako-chan called it homework. Catching the killer, ending the murders, bringing peace to the town. Only we can do it, huh? Well, hang in there. I'm counting on you. Yosuke's determination shows through. You sense Yosuke's trust. And the bond deepens. Rank 5 already. We're making great strides. Yosuke can now cure severe ailments during battle. Those activate randomly. You can't really control when it happens. Oh, so did the notice reach you yet? It's the one about joining the Young Men's Association. They were talking about having some kind of event to boost the economy. Juness is involved with it, so they're trying to rope me in. I don't have time for that. I told them I was busy, but they keep dogging me. I don't care about the Young Men's Association or about boosting the economy. Yosuke sighs. Alright, time to take a peek under the futon. <laughs> Talked with Yosuke about different things. See you later. It's gotten dark, so you said bye to Yosuke. You're back. Yes, I am. Hey. Talk to Dojima. Hmm. We haven't had time to talk since you got here, huh? Dojima is def desperately casting about for a topic to discuss. Uh, well, so, how was school? Uh, it's fun. I see. I see. That's good to hear. School days will be over before you know it. Make sure you have fun while you can. Dojima's nodding to himself. What else? Oh, yeah. How about your friends? Looks like you've made plenty of them. Dojima's scowling. I'm not saying you can or can't hang out with, but you, you know what I'm talking about, right? Say it straight out. <laughs> you got guts. Dojima is smiling dauntlessly. For some reason, wherever there is an incident, uh, there you are. I wish I didn't have to consider this, but the killings began around the time you came to this town. My job is about eliminating all the random elements. Uh, I only look at the facts. If you keep getting caught up in my job, then... What's wrong? Big Bro didn't do anything bad. I, I know, I didn't mean it like that. But, but you're bullying him. I'm not bullying him. We were just having a little talk. It's getting late. Go to sleep. Okay. Sheesh. She's really taking a shine to you. Look, just don't get yourself involved in anything dangerous. As long as you're safe, everything's fine. 
Your parents didn't ask me to raise your grades or anything. It seems Dojima is genuinely worried about you. You feel a faint bond forming between you and Dojima. So it begins. This is for the Hero Font Arcana, which is a very good one. Things here might be a little different from what you're used to, but this is a good town. Though it's a little dangerous right at the moment. Well, it's time for you to get turned in. Get some sleep. Good night. I said good night to Dojima and went to your room. Uh-oh, here comes the rain. You overhear students talking. All this rain, I hate rain. It's supposed to keep raining until this evening, too. Speaking of misery, midterms start next Monday. They even post the results up for everyone to see. Oh, don't worry about it. Your life isn't going to be ruined by one little piece of paper, is it? What? How can you possibly believe that? Getting good grades has benefits when interacting with people. Talented people are really highly valued in society, aren't they? Mr. Hosoi, have you picked up the latest edition of the Bully Teacher yet? Of course I did, but it's raining today. I hope I can get it without getting it all wet. So, uh, does anybody have an extra book cover that you'd be kind enough to lend me? Whoops, I have to start the lecture. Don't try to distract me by talking about books. Today we're going to discuss Kokoro by Sosuke Natsume. Open new textbooks. Before we get into the actual literature, I have to, I'll ask a question about Sosuke himself. Hmm, how about another comic chat, city boy? Do you know how Sosuke Natsume translated the English phrase I love you into Japanese? You know, good teacher with the funny voice, that is an excellent question. So how did Sosuke translate I love you? The moon is beautiful, isn't it? That is that is the correct answer. Oh, you're very knowledgeable. Yep, he translated it as the moon is beautiful, isn't it? By the way, person who translated it as I could die, she may fool to pay another prominent uh, Meiji era writer. Though he tried that he did it from Russian and not English, it's still similar that they did not do direct translations. Back then, in Japan, there wasn't the same direct expression of love that we have now, so they had to get creative. It's a subtle and endearing translation, much like the Japanese language itself. Anyway, let's get back to Kogoro. You gave the correct answer. Knowledge is maximum. Stay hydrated, everybody. You hear thunder rumbling. I bought you a new copy of that Trial of the Dragon flick. It was the greatest punches version for 980 yen. If I knew then, I'd just replace it instead of buying grilled steak. This is clearly getting closer. Huh? What are you, scared of a little lightning? Quiet, you! I'd be a goner if even one of those things hit me. <laughs> you're freaking out way too much. Come on, shouldn't weather like this help with your kung fu training? A bolt of lightning would hit and it'd give you the inspiration for a new move. There was a scene like that in your DVD, wasn't there? You jerk! You don't even care how I feel! If lightning has to strike someone, let it be this guy! <gasps> huh? Is this a blackout? That's what you get for saying that stuff, Chie. Looks like I better hurry up and head to work. Depending on how produce sells today, I might get a little bonus in my pay for the week. This weather may keep customers away, but I gotta do my best if I'm gonna save up for a motorcycle. It's from my manager. Hello? Uh, you think Josuke could order? Oh, uh, some of the power in the store is out after that lightning strike. Could, could you come in early today? All the refrigerated shelves have stopped running. It's looking like we'll have to close up the produce section early today. Wait, what? But my pay! Anyway, I need you here to help deal with this mess. I'm counting on you! Goodbye! Wait! What are you looking at me for? Uh, why did this have to happen? Hey, Yukiko! Can we just go home? Chie, do you know this story? A girl forgot her homework. 
So she snuck into school in the middle of the night, and she suddenly needed to use the bathroom. She entered into the girls' room with all the lights were off. No one should have been there, but in the mirror... Hold it right there! What are you talking about? <laughs> it's a ghost story. I thought you liked me. Yeah, but why tell it now? The atmosphere. She is on the verge of tears. What should you do? Um... Glad you're here. Oh, why don't you just have him escort you back home, Chie? Uh, are you making fun of me? Well, yeah, with how freaked out you are, can you blame me? Oh, the power is back! Come on, Yukiko, let's go home. <laughs> Chie and Yukiko leave in a hurry. What do you mean, wait for another rainy night? It's raining now. Okay, so Chie and Yukiko went home, which means Yukiko shouldn't be down here. Yeah, accurate. Well, uh, I guess we don't do that. We go into town and go into the shopping district and buy Yukiko some new gear. I don't remember if we did that already. I should have watched the last episode before recording, but, you know, these things are pretty long. There's all the materials we got from grinding. Okay, Yukiko. Ooh. Still the same hit rate, but a lot more damage. Okay. And then we'll get her some armor. Let me see. Show info. 270, but 14. 304, but down to 13. I think I want to keep hers at 14, so we'll give her defense 270. And the plus 4 to all stats is really good, too. Yeah, we'll equip that. Okay, now Yukiko's all caught up with us. <clears throat> and it's raining, so I think something we could we should be able to do in here. Huh? Huh? <laughs> For um, for the true ending path, you actually end up getting more of Marie. And I actually maxed out Marie's social link, too. If I hadn't already romanced somebody, I would have picked Marie. She has really good social links. Um, let's check the compendium. Actually, no. Can we summon? Yeah, view compendium. We want to get a different type right now. I really want to get power because it's one of my favorites. Where's power? There you are. 50,000 is kind of a steep price, but look at all these abilities. I think it's worth it. That's all I wanted to do. Now we go home. Oh, oh. And then we go home. Feels like I've been recording forever, but this video is not even 40 minutes yet. It just feels like that because I've been grinding for off screen. So I've been playing this for a while. I was not scared at all. <gasps> Social link! Yeah! 
Oh, um. Nanako's fidgeting. Um, go ahead and ask. Yeah. Okay, um, well. Are you an only child? Uh, that's right. <laughs> so you're just like me. Oh, but I have you now, so. <laughs> a while ago, Daddy told me that our family won't get any bigger. <laughs> but now I have a big brother. Nanako beams at you with a smile that covers her entire face. Through that smile, you feel your relationship grow deeper. Let's go! Justice is like one of the best Arcanos, too. Let's talk, big bro. I want to hear about your school. You decided to talk about various things. No. It's gotten late, so you put Nanako to bed and went to your room. Almost there. Today's Sunday. You don't have to go to school. wonder when it'll rain at night. First midterm start tomorrow. Yukiko? Uh, hello? Oh. Well, Chie works too. Samegawa River. You decided to train with Chie. Today's the day. Chie is enthusiastic today as well. Nanako. Huh? Yay! Oh, Nanako. What are you doing? Mm, training, of course. Hmm. Training. Who are you fighting with, Chie? Hmm. hmm. <laughs> Myself, I guess? <laughs> Just kidding. Oh. Wow. Cool. You think? <laughs> Oh, a grasshopper! Huh? Uh -huh. No way, where? It just landed on your back. <laughs> get it off, get it off me! Nanako took the grasshopper off Chie's back. You don't like grasshoppers? I'm no good with anything thin or jointed legs or anything creepy and squirmy. Now I just can't get them out of my mind. I can't stand those things. But they're cute. You, you're like Yukiko. <laughs> Oh, see, because Yukiko's fine around bugs. But me, I totally lose it. Kind of funny, huh? It's very feminine. That's not true. It's not. Chie somehow looks happy. A lot of kids in my class don't like bugs. It's not just you. Don't worry. <laughs> Nanako. Oh, you don't need know how happy that makes me. Thanks. Come on, you want to train too? Yeah. Okay. Let's start from form. I'll teach you a kata... Chie and Nanako began training. We sent Nanako home before it got dark. I'm gonna go get over my fear of bugs. I don't want to look like a sissy in front of Nanako. All I have to do is think of them as shadows. Then I'll be able to grab a whole fistful. I just gave myself goosebumps. Getting used to bugs might take a while, but I won't lose to shadows. You felt Chie's burning passion. You feel a relationship with Chie has grown yet deeper. Rank 3. She has determination in battle. She can now perform a follow-up attack. Yeah. Laters. I like Chie's follow-up attack. It's really funny. Hmm. Nanako seems to be lost in thought. Ask her what's wrong. You ask her what's wrong. Um, well... Nanako fidgets. Today is Mother's Day. My teacher told us that's a day when you give your mom flowers. I don't have a mom, so I don't know what to do with these flowers. Nanako seems upset. Let's give them to your dad. Huh? But it's Mother's Day. Is it okay to give them to dad? Give them to him. Uh, I did a really good job. My teacher said they were pretty. <laughs> I wonder if Dad will be happy to get them. Nanako seems happy. You should make a flower too, big bro. Nanako taught you how to make an origami flower. You place the finished flower on the table along with the letter to Dojima. 
It's getting late, so you put Nanako to bed and head back to your room. All right, time for sleep. It is the midterms. Time to go to school. Morning. Exams are finally starting today. Real life's harsh. Have you studied for them? Can't you tell? I look like I'm ready. But even once exams are over, we're not done with the case. All this depressing stuff's just gonna keep going on and on and on. Midterms day one. What's it called when muscles grow after exercise? Overcompensation. You feel you've chosen correct the answer. Well, it's the year before 1 AD call. Okay, I don't remember this one. Uh, what's the year before 1 AD call? The preceding year is 1 BC. You feel you've chosen the correct answer. Next day, it just, it rapid fires through midterms. Midterms, day two. Which of these types of numbers does not exist? Um, it was marriage numbers, yeah. Who translated I love you as the moon is beautiful, isn't it? Oh, it was Sosuke. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Midterms, day three. Who said as soon as laws are necessary for men, they're no longer fit for... Oh, it's Pythagoras. Which of the following is the highest mountain in the solar system? Oh, fuck. What was it again? Um, Highest mountain in the solar system. Olympus Mons. Oh, tomorrow's the day. Last day of the exams. You answered every question with ease. The answers seem to be flowing from your hand. Ooh, am I going to get the achievement? It's finally over. Woo, what a load off. I bet every student feels like this after exams are over. Hey, quiet down. Hey, what did you write for number seven? The one about <laughs> what that referred to in the sentence? Um, I put most sorrowfully and especially oh crap and I got it wrong I put the rice cakes on top of the table what <laughs> wait was that what the story was about all right I'm giving up on composition I'm gonna bet it all on geography what did you choose for the tallest mountain in the solar system Olympus Mons that one too well you too it's probably the right answer boy i can't wait for our grades to be posted out in the hall where everyone can see them yeah i can't wait too did you hear a tv station's filming here in town they're probably just doing more stuff about that hanging corpse case no it's not that you know the highway nearby they're gonna cover those biker gangs that hang around there oh and shit we're getting to the story sometimes i heard it from him Dude, what are you doing hanging out with a guy in a biker gang? Well, anyways, what do you think about tomorrow's group blind date? We were going to meet outside, but it's going to rain soon, right? And wouldn't it be better to play it safe tomorrow, too? I like how we're just listening to their conversation. Biker gang? Oh, yeah. They raise a ruckus from time to time. I guess your place is too far away to hear them. We live right by the road. The noise can drive you insane. <coughs> I hear some guys at this school are part of it. Yeah, I know there are some rumors about a first-year student here who's a total hellraiser. I know who that is. Junes said the dude's been a legend ever since middle school. Although, was he in a biker gang? Did did you say he was a legend? Uh, it's not what you think, Yukiko. 
Today was the final day of midterms. You have no choice but to wait for another rainy night. So tomorrow's the day where we start working towards our thingy. Okay, before I talk to anybody else, before I talk to Yosuke, I need to see if I can get Yukiko's. I cannot. All right, Yosuke, here I come. Yo. Got a minute? I'll offer my evidence. Do you have Orbos for Son of the Magician? Spend the afternoon with Yosuke. Junest Grocery Department. You agreed to help with restocking after Yosuke Begi, but I don't even work here. Welcome. Choice salmon, 59 yen a slice, just as advertised. And while you're at it, how about some cheese directly, direct from Italy and just 298 yen only for today? Restock this shelf too. Ay, ay, ay. You're in 5,500 yen while working at Juness. Oh, okay. Well, then I think if I got paid, then that's what matters. Juness Food Court. You came with Yosuke after work. <sighs> Whew, I'm dead tired. They decided on the sale at last minute, and Dad was bugging me to find helpers. I told him I didn't have time for that, but he wasn't listening. Thanks, man. I'm glad you were there. Thanks. Um, no problem. <laughs> Here they are, a good guy. Yosuke is happy. Uh-oh, these bitches. Oh, Hanamura. What's with the crowd today? It's way busy. If I'd known, I would have skipped out. Please don't. You got a bonus for today, right? Yeah, a whole 500 yen. I'm trying to save up. Give me a raise. Well, I don't think I can help you there. What's the point, then? The two began talking nearby. They're talking very loudly. At this rate, my graduation trip will be somewhere in Japan. Maybe I should ask my parents to pay for it. Why don't you find a guy to pay? Huh, <laughs> like Saki did? Hmm... Yosuke is biting his lip. Was it during our second year? When Saki eloped, I mean. Yeah, apparently she got with a college guy who came home and went out with him. She, she came right back saying she'd save money and leave on her own. You mean she was dumped? Who knows, she started working here to save money, didn't she? You know, us high school girls can make easy money if we really want to. The pair's gossip and continues. <sighs> it doesn't matter. It's just hot air. I'm not letting it get to me. It's sad to be talked about it like that, though. We're the only ones who can avenge Saki-senpai. We're special. We're the only ones. There's no need to bother with outsiders. Man, you're mature. <laughs> I saw the kid in me inside the TV. I felt I needed to change. Yosuke is smiling sheepishly. I think it's good you came along. Because of you, I was able to make it this far. Yosuke is nodding firmly. You feel your relationship with Yosuke has grown deeper. Hell yeah. Rank six. Auto Sakukaja. So, let's just get rid of Sakukaja. <sighs> what a pain. Oh, uh, not you. I wonder what it is. I don't know. Spent time talking with Yosuke. Here we go. After this day... Welcome back. Oh! You go to Juness a lot? Very often. That Asadachi keeps vanishing every now and then. I figure he's probably slacking off around Juness whenever he does. If you see him hanging around at Juness, he's probably goofing around. If you see a Dachi at Juness, tell him off for me, okay? Next time you go to Juness, you'll be on the lookout for a Dachi, which is tomorrow. I don't consider myself an old man yet, but when it comes to high schoolers, I don't know what to talk about. You're able to talk to him. Show your relationship with Dojima. Spend some time with him? Yeah. Hey. So what have you been doing after school? Uh, club meetings. Hanging with friends is the more right answer. Hmm. Really just hanging out? Dojima's scowling. Ah, oh, damn. Wrong answer. <laughs> Oops, this is turning into interrogation, isn't it? It's not as we have much in common except for the murders. Um, tell me about yourself. Huh. About me? You're interested in the strangest things. Dojima shrugs. 
It's just what it seems. I'm a simple country detective living with my daughter. Nothing about that to interest a high school kid. But you know, it really is good to have you around the house. I didn't think Nanako would be so happy. Hell, I'm already tired of hearing big bro this and big bro that. You're more like a very young brother to me than a son. <laughs> Should I call you big bro? <laughs> Sending chills down my spine. Nojima's laughing cheerfully. I think it's been a while since I've laughed this much. You were able to talk frankly with Dojima. You feel your relationship has grown deep. Rank 2, baby! Alright, I have to finish processing some data from work. Hit the sack late, don't you hear? I said goodnight and went to your room. Okay, I know where I'm going today. Oh, the daycare center. Fuck. Well, I got something way more important to go to. Uh, not that. Go into town. And then we'll go to Juness. And we found a dachi. Oh. Dojima sent me. Sucks. It's easy with all the people around. It's cool in the summer and warm in the winter. It's a pretty good place, too. Yeah, I think I said enough. Seems the dachi is slacking off. I'll hang out with you, too. Oh, that's a little strange. What are you doing here? Killing time? Though to do it, out, though to do out here in the sticks, isn't it? Tough to do out here in the sticks, isn't it? There's nothing here. It's not like the city at all. You can say that again. You're right. I knew you'd understand. You're from the city too, right? Get this. My first assignment here was tracking down a cat. My suit got so dirty, and they wouldn't let me expense the dry cleaning bill. Next, I paid a peace. I played peacemaker and in a spat some married couple was having. Can't believe they got the police doing that stuff. Adachi seems unsatisfied with country life. It's been more dangerous lately, so I can't kick back. There's that one case, you know. It's still not solved yet. The higher-ups don't know what to do. They keep changing procedure on the fly. Sorry. I hope I'm not making you nervous. You guys have nothing to worry about, you know? Us police are on the job. You sense that Adachi cares for you. You feel you understand Adachi a bit more. Thou shalt be blessed when creating Personas of the Jester Arcana! Well, you know... Time for me to get back to work. <laughs> Whew, that was close. Dachi doesn't seem to want to see that old woman. See ya. Better go, you better hurry on home too. Don't tell Doji Masan I was in Juness, okay? You w watch the Dachi go back to work and then went home. Young men recklessly riding their motorcycles, disturbing the peace of a quiet rural town. Our special report took a turn for the violent when one of the apparent leaders attacked the camera crew. The hell are you punks doing here? Voice. This ain't a show. Get bent. Still up to the same old tricks. Do you know him, Dad? Uh, well, I know him through work. His name's Kanji Tatsumi. He's quite a handful. He's been crushing biker gangs in the area since middle school, but I thought he'd gone into a high school and started attending class. Huh. Man, that blur sure is pointless. It's completely obvious who it is. The guy's family runs a historic textile shop. I think what happened was he crushed the local bikers all by himself because the noise kept his mother up at night. That's a nice gesture, but it's way too violent. At this rate, his mother will have to apologize again. Uh, the weather report's showing on the bottom. It's going to rain tomorrow. I'll make sure to hang more laundry inside the house. started raining. I guess the weather report was right. That means the show's probably going to be on tonight. I hope we don't see anyone. Yeah, that'd be best. But if we do, maybe we'll see some kind of clue that can point us toward the killer. Well, everyone, 
Don't forget to check your TV tonight. Got it? I hope you all were watching the TV earlier. What will you see on the Midnight Channel tonight? Welcome home. But we're going to have to look at the Midnight Channel in the next episode. So I hope you had a good time on Ride Time. I will see you all next time.